is gonna be a video made like within months because today I have the baseball cat kit to see their DNA. Um, I've always been curious about my cats because they're so unique looking. I know that they're not purebred. I I think only 3% of cats in the US are purebred cats to begin with. So I know that. But I'm not I have one in here, but every time I bring Toby in, she wants to go for the camera. So this is Mavis. I have no idea what she could even be. I'm guessing since there's like four main categories, you got Western, Eastern, Exotic, and Persian. Persian. So I don't know. I would think she'd be like 60 to 70% Western and I know not exotic because that's your bangles and stuff. I would lean towards like the Persian breeds because she's a little stocky, but I really don't know. And then this is my turd, Toby. Um, she's got that, you can tell she looks Siamese, but I guessing 30 40 percent Siamese Eastern Eastern we'll go with Eastern because the breeds aren't that um we need more cats to make it more accurate kind of like 23 me or ancestry.com so my guess would be 30 to 40 percent she just got lucky on the genetic side um Siamese cats don't have lynx point ears for example um like I said, you're going to know if you have a purebred cat because you're most likely going to have papers with it. Um, but she, yeah, she's got that personality, like real turd. <laughs> so that would be my guess on her. The rest, maybe Western, if I had to guess. So when you get your kit, I'm not going to show you swabbing them because I just feel like somebody will say animal abuse because, you, you know, it's really hard to swab a cat. But you get your swab here, and then you just put that in their cheek pouch and swab it around, and then shake this. And then right on the side is a barcode to register your kit. I already did Toby's, so it's all bagged up here. And then all you do is fill in, register, fill in, seal your box, and ship it out. So I'll see you in a couple months probably from now, and we'll see if I was right about predicting about what they were. So I just want to do an update while I'm waiting for results on this. I'm kind of a little annoyed with them. Um, and I'm trying to be patient, and I understand all the stuff that's going on in the world. But about two weeks ago, they sent a thing saying they were processing and go through their DNA. It'd probably be about four to ten days. It rarely takes more than four to six weeks. As of right now, we're on six weeks. And they sent that email about two weeks ago when I looked at it. Um, so, I mean, I understand that the bat flu... And I thought maybe with all the craziness, with all the power outages and stuff in the country, it was maybe affecting them, but they're based in California from everything I see. So, I mean, I'm just trying to be honest. If they would send another email, just be like, hey, this is what's happening. Sorry, it's taking longer than six weeks. I'd be okay with it, but it just leads me to think, like, was something wrong and they just forgot to upload it? I don't know. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you this part here. As you can see, I have my two cats on here. You can put their pictures and their names, their birthdays, and male, female, and all that stuff. So it tells you your progress. So you, you added your cat, and you registered your kit. And then when you get your kit, when your kit gets into their lab, they'll tell you that they received them. They actually came the same day. Um, and they were processing on the same day as of now. Um, there's something else I noticed. When I bought the kit, 
I only got the breeding health. I mean, breed. I didn't get the health because I figured uh, they go to the vet. And, you know, the genetic outcome that shows diseases isn't always accurate. It's just this could happen, you know. So I figured I'm not going to spend an extra $100 for it. If it was a person, maybe. Like, on my 23 me, I did. But cats, I don't know. It's just... I didn't want to spend the extra hundred dollars. So I was like, what's up with that? So I went to their front page. It's still here. Yep. Um, so now they have, I don't want to do honey. <laughs> um, so I guess they just automatically upgraded to where, geez, all these ads. Um, you get the breed in health for 129. When I bought it, just the breed, it was 99. So now you get that. Um, and that has your breed groups, wild cat index, genetic disease markers, and health recommendations. And then now they have this one is $499. I would never spend that much on DNA testing for a cat. <laughs> um, especially mine because they're not purebred golden sphinx cats. They're um, Walmart great value brand cats. But anyhow... <laughs> You get 100% of your genome and raw data and all genetics, genetic variants in lifetime breed and health updates. So that makes me wonder if I'm not getting that now. So I'm going to click it while we're looking. If you're interested, you might as well know too. Fellowship. Doesn't have... Uh, See, that says it doesn't update, which kind of annoys me because maybe they just didn't put it on there, but I'd be more annoyed with them if they don't. Let me sure I'm not missing it. I'm not seeing it. So I would be more annoyed if when I ordered it, they said that it always updated, and now they're not always updating it. I don't know. I'm not really happy with these guys at the moment. Oh, wait, here we go. Lifetime of breed update. So I take that back if this is not just an old picture, but it doesn't say on the side here. Let's go to the other one. It's so windy outside right now. It's crazy. Yeah, they're using the same picture, so I am curious about that. But what do you get for $500? <laughs> you get your cat's complete and future, gene future proof genetic information. Caster's complex genetic variants. Um, full assets raw data. Sent on a USB drive. Uh, lifetime of health and breed updates. See, that's kind of weird to highlight it here, but not on the other one. And delivers large volume of genetic... Geomet, I don't know. <laughs> I went to school. I went to a three-room school in West Virginia. So, <laughs> um, free one-hour consultation with a feline genetic coach. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you really had to be into your cats, <laughs> and you get access to their bioinformatic teams. Yeah, there's just no way I would pay that much, even with you know this that's still too much so that's an update when and if i ever get um their you know what they are we'll see <laughs> just thought i update you guys on that so i ended up emailing base paws again just to see what was going on and their sequencer was down or something like that it would have been nice if they emailed me, but I finally got results back today. I'm just trying to be honest because there's a lot of videos where, like, base paw send them free kits, and I don't think they're quite as honest. So that's just my opinion. I'm sorry if I sound grouchy about it, but anyhow, I'll get you into my results on my caps here. So I just start off here with Mavis. We'll see what's up with Mavis. I was completely wrong on her. So here's our results. 
All right, so we're going to go in here. And if it ever loads, so they get like this whole report you could print out. So we got Mavis Joe and go down to here. She is more Western, I think. I think I said 60. I'd have to go back and look. But she comes up American short hair, 24. Maine Coon, 9, almost 10%. Russian blue, 8.20. Norwegian forest cat, six, pretty much seven. <laughs> you should just round these. Ragdoll, seven. Siberian, three. Turkish Angora, two. Broadly Western, about 18. So I don't, I want to take these as to heart. It's just what they're most similar to is not necessarily, well, her dad was American short hair and her dad was... A British short hair. No, it's not like that. Um, so I would pay more attention to this Western, Eastern, Exotic, and Persian, and Polycat. So for Eastern, just broadly Eastern, about five percent, four point twenty six, not quite five percent. Um, I thought maybe I didn't even think she had that in her, honestly. Um, Exotic. Yeah, I didn't even think she would have exotic, and she's about 3.79%, just broadly exotic. And then Persian, I thought she'd have a little more, because she's a stocky little cat. But she comes up with their British short hair, most similar. And then Polly Cat, which is pretty much the month of cats. And her wild cat, she's most like. <laughs> this is not to be interpreted as evidence of your cat is part wild cat cheetah i thought she'd be a cougar <laughs> so all our health markers came up pretty much negative we're like polycystic kidney disease <laughs> i don't know why i'm lisping <laughs> um like all these weird diseases that i don't even know what half of them are i guess if they came up positive i would look into it I mean, like I said, I wasn't really interested in this to begin with. Um, but they threw it in on me. So I guess that was nice of them. So they're still based on your book. So this is kind of just like a map of everything. Eastern cats, I guess, are a little um, different genetically. That's why they're over here. Then like the other three over here. Um, yeah, well, I guess I could see Ragdoll in her. I, I would actually guess Ragdoll, but I thought that was Persian breed, but I was confusing with a Himalayan. Um, I could see that she does have the blue eyes and she's fluffy, like a Ragdoll. But then you go down here, it kind of tells you more about them. Like calm, docile, lap cat. Um, and it tells you like related breeds. But back, I'll scroll down. I don't want to read them all off again. But even the ones that don't match. Doo -doo -doo, like, I can never say this one. Abyssinian. Yeah, like she doesn't match that one. I'll still tell you about the cat breed. Um, Turkish Angora. I always wanted one of those. But like I said, I think only 3% of cats are purebred in the U.S. Let's do Peterball, Burmese. Burmese. My other cat here really confused me. Um, so, I'm going to stop this one and we'll pull up Toby. So I just pulled up the best picture I could find of Toby here. I mean, that's a great representation of her. Alright, so here's Toby. Um, ah, she just heard her name. She popped up. So if you hear a bell, that'd be Toto. So she is 80% Western, which really shocked me because she looks so Siamese y. <laughs> but says 14% Siberian. 
about 13% ragdoll, um, 11% American short hair, about 10% Maine Coon, 8% Russian Blue, 3% Turkish Angora, oh, there's that one I can never say, about 2% Abyssinian, about 2% Norwegian Forest Cat, um, 18.24 Broadly Western, you little mutt. Um, 8.78% Persian, so she's got about 7% British short hair and almost 2% Himalayan. I can kind of see that. Um, I thought she'd be way more Eastern, but they do not have, um, Siamese cats, I guess, is what I read, but then I saw it on there. So, I don't know how to take that. But anyhow, um, 2.40... 2.43% Eastern, 2% Peterbald, that's an ugly cat, in my opinion. <laughs> I looked it up, but I can't see, like, her face shape. And 0.45 Broadly Eastern, and then 8.42 Polycat. So, she's most related to a Chia, too. Her and Mavis are about the same there. Um, blah, 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 blah. She was all clear, too, on all the fun diseases you can have as a cat. Going down. So here's her breeds all summed up that they tested and all that. So, I think this is where the Siamese... I know she has Siamese in her. But I know she's not. You know full so i think this is where the like i said you can't take this too hard but i think this is where it's pulling up just more similar to a ragdoll just like mavis but she's up there i can see a russian blue too a little bit in her but you know you can't take that either but if i do though like go back up here this is not her personality at all. That cat is a turd. Um, she's into everything. She has a pizza she carries around everywhere. Like a toy pizza, not a real pizza. Just a real turd. It's like she's I call her TSA agents because she's always inspecting the shopping bags. Um you got the same ones that all pulled up from May May. See, see, there's that Peter Ball cat. I just, I don't like hairless cats <laughs> or ones with long faces like that. Like if I was to buy a Siamese, I would get the apple-headed Siamese, not the modern. Um, see, it says Thai Siamese. So I don't know. It confuses me. I've seen her family members. So that is both my cats. Um, if you have patience, I would recommend it. I think they still need to get, you know, they're still studying cats. So hopefully mine will update like they said it would. Like, that's still a question, I guess. But, I mean, it is interesting. It's not quite a mystery now because I could tell people like, oh no, Toby is not Siamese for sure. Because people like to argue with me. I'm like, I know what my cat is. They'll even argue that Mavis is Siamese. I got I'm like, I know what my cat. I would have papers if they're purebred, but now I can prove it. So that is everything about base paws. If you have patience, go for it. <laughs>